I'm really looking forward to the rest of the night um, as well as tomorrow. And I know we're gonna have a good time together. So let's go have fun. I'll see you guys later. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pissed off. So Lexi doesn't swipe right on me, and I am sitting there pretty much fuming. And I'm like, yes, I need to feel bad for the people on the chopping block. But I am just like, girl, give me one, give me one bit of reassurance. I, I like you're serious that uh, you're going to feel like you're leaving, but I want to have a conversation with you about it. I care about you. I want you to stay in this competition. Like, don't leave, please. I'm actually having a connection with her, and I'm making the effort that Jamie and Rylan are not making. I realized I'm here for me. I'm not going to dip out on this situation. I think it's going to be clear in the next day at the next elimination round who should stay and who should leave. It's been a year now Since I left my home And there's nobody here Ooh. now qualities is that I am genuine and authentic. Everyone that actually knows me they know that that is who I am. I'm a genuine person. If the person I'm trying to impress, which is Lexi, if she knows who I am, I really don't need to be worrying about everyone else in the house. Everyone else in the house is worried about getting voted off too, so they're probably just trying to make me look bad to make themselves feel better. This is just too much for me. I'm like going insane. Like, I'm literally going insane. Rylan and Jamie are saved from elimination, and I think it really helped the house kind of heal from everything that has happened in the last two days, but I definitely think that tensions are running higher now that they are staying. It's so frustrating, too, because I think that the boys can sense that we are all, like, that we are being, like, eaten alive, and they're like, no, I know. Bro, I feel like we're really surrounded by girls who are not growing at all. They're not, oh, bro. Like, I don't know where they got these girls from, but they are not like. Jasmine. Jasmine and Jamie. Jasmine, 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 Jasmine and Jamie, they're the ones. Yeah. They're just cool. Yeah. I'm getting fat ass flirty vibes from Jasmine, bro. Nah, you are. Like, you are. That might, that answer. might, that might mess you up. I'm gonna tell her like, go ahead and go for sale. Like, he, yeah, he go for me. You. <laughs> you should be, you should be go for me, and then, and then she'll pull the same. Came me, and I'll be like, nah, like, don't go for me. Right? This is like tomorrow. She gotta go. Won't she? Oh, oh, oh my! Ask me like, oh, I feel like we never got a chance to talk. Yeah. <laughs> we talked all week. Yeah, yeah. Like, it would be a one-way conversation. Yeah. You can talk to yourself. I had a whole life story, and I didn't even have a one-on-one conversation with you. The girls definitely have an advantage. The girls definitely have an advantage right now. So, so we gotta fight for our lives out here. Yeah, we gotta start like trying to figure out how to get these girls eliminated low-key. Nah, bro, you just gotta focus on yourself. Self, nah, yeah, focus on yourself. I'm just like, these girls gotta bounce out, though, you know what I mean? Like, there's yeah, too many, I'm not there's seven's too many. Yeah, do the best for y'all, because you don't see it, it's like, oh, leave, on, leave, on, leave, on. Yeah, like, all right, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Literally, nobody can stop you. No one's stopping you. Hell, 
sitting here swear they're the victim and like bro and like and then they get extra time well, with we Lexi. Saying, oh, listen, listen, this is what we're saying. <laughs> Tyler done did that. Sienna done did yeah, that. Ryland done did, did that. Yeah. Like I love y'all, but Mark Loki did it. I hate to say Mark did it. I think it's easier for like us not to hang out as much because it makes I just wanna like and be positive and enjoy myself more here and not like be feeling different things like watching you with her. So I think it's just easier when we're not talking as much. I think moving rooms was the best decision for me. The separation feels good right now. And I honestly like having my own space. Like I can just, you know, watch my Netflix, be by myself, kind of mentally reset. I want you to have this opportunity if this is something that you want, so I don't want to get in the way of that for you. If you like her, want to be with her, like I want it. Because you want me to do that for you too. I should, but I'm just saying like, what the hell changed? I'm getting mixed signals she'll like there will be flirting going on it's very different from friendly but i'm not understanding why it's going from that to distancing so, you know, i don't know you i literally don't want to be here because you're here as long as you're here i'm going to be here Can, uh... Oh, you want to continue talking? Oh, okay. So you don't have anything. Else. That's it. Oh no, this is bad. Fun, you so fun, you so fun, you so fun. Something fun, something fun, make you mine. Never tired, I can see you out. We're on to day seven, and I have five left on my team. And I'm holding it down with dos. What's up, daters? That's good. Hey. Yesterday was pretty intense. So are you ready for a new day? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. All right. Today's challenge may not be a competitive one, but it's definitely going to be an emotional one. Today we're going to be tapping into our emotional, vulnerable, and sensitive sides. We're all going to be sitting in a circle. Each of us will be holding a breakable object. And I want all of us to think of something from our past or from our present that we want to let go of, get rid of, and throw away. We're going to write it down on this object. And then we're all going to go into a room and take baseball bats, sledgehammers, and destroy our objects that we want to get rid of. We want to get rid of that emotional baggage. Um, so how do you guys feel about that? I like it. I like it. I like it. So we arrive at this break room today, and I've never been in one of these. You literally get to just wreck everything. So I'm really excited to take some of my stress out onto these objects. Tapping into your emotions and then releasing it physically can be really good for you. And we're here for you if you need us. All right, let's get you suited up. I think we're ready to go. Hey. We put on these massive suits and I look absolutely ridiculous because I'm so short, so it's like this huge suit on me and it's like, it's not a cute look. I'm thinking hopefully no glass or anything cuts my shoes because I pulled up with some nice Jordan 4s and hopefully they come out still looking nice. That mask is messing my hair. I love to break shit. I love to hit things, so I feel like this is gonna be a really fun day. So, what we're gonna do here is with your pen, 
I want you to meditate on something you've been feeling recently, whether it's a negative emotion, whether you're feeling, feeling fear, anxiety, anger, I want you to write it on whatever you're holding right now. Instead of allowing ourselves to break, we're gonna break the object. Ooh. When I'm in a relationship with a person, I want to know that they're comfortable opening up to me as I can be comfortable opening up to them. And seeing a more vulnerable side of a person really means that they're comfortable around you, which is what I want. Okay guys, I feel like it would be cool if we could all share a little bit about what we wrote, if you're comfortable, um, so that we could get some insight on each other and just open up to each other a little bit more. For true intimacy to occur, you have to be vulnerable. There has to be honesty, there has to be sharing, there has to be inquiring, and there has to be a response of caring. I guess I'll, I can start. Um, so this is what I did. Oh, that's awesome. I did some, like a little bit of art and also like some bubble words and letters. So I wrote, losing this group of people was once the scariest thought that could ever cross my mind. Now I feel more at peace with myself than ever before. How? Thank you for showing me what friendship is not. So I wrote on my mug, trust issues, commitment issues, being taken advantage of, love myself, and learning how to be loved. Um, coming from my past, my mom left me, um, having ex-girlfriends cheat on me, being taken advantage of, and that goes to my commitment, is like, I'm here for you. Thank you for opening up, Mark, that was really good. Okay, Jamie. Um, I did feeling my feelings and being okay with opening up. Like, I'm kind of someone that shuts off sometimes when I'm feeling too much because I feel like it's stronger in a way. It's tough for me to be vulnerable in front of people because I feel like, not that it could be used against me, but I don't know, it lets people have a part of you that like is hard for me to share with a lot of people. I wrote a bunch of different things, but I think the things that stood out the most were probably like, doubt and self-love. I couldn't even look myself in the mirror pretty much. And I was like comparing myself all the time to like people I saw on social media and definitely need to let that go. I wrote a lot, like one of the biggest things was though was just like, I put skin color, but just learning like how to love myself. Cause I feel like growing up, I was the only black kid in a lot of, a lot of my AP classes, like one of three minorities. So it was a lot of just feeling outcast or like I didn't fit in, like nobody looked like me. And it's definitely a work in progress that I don't think ever ends, but I've made significant strides in that. You're never like boxed into a cage or you can never let somebody else define who you are or what you can be in life. I feel like I have problems expressing myself just cause in general, you know, dudes are supposed to be masculine macho, not talk about feelings. That's how I was raised kinda. So I'm trying to break out of that now. So now I'm really trying to be better at that. I wrote a couple things. One of the main things I wanted to talk on was just like self-blaming. I feel like I relate to Mark a lot with the scenarios of feeling abandoned and I self-sabotage myself all the time because even when good things happen, I don't think that I deserve them because everyone had always told me that I wasn't worth having good things and that like I didn't deserve things. I want to learn how to be more like accepting of good things. I just lost someone recently in my life that meant a lot to me. And it's been on the back of my mind a lot about how I feel really guilty on the things, way like things played out. So that's been on my mind a lot of how I could have done this, I could have done that, especially not just in that life, in other people's lives as well. People are still here and everything. You know, you don't have everyone, like you don't know if you're gonna lose them, like in the next second. This is kind of triggered for me this week. Um, just kind of like feeling invalidated in my sexuality. And um, I wrote about like forgiving my parents for the, I mean, it would be called conversion therapy, like the full exorcism done on me, all of that like really does change you in a way that you can't, it, it's so at your core when you're raised so religiously, it's, it's very hard. I know who I am, God made me the way I am, and just like, that's it. That's all I need to, you know, know. This was the first time where I think Lexi was able to see the real, deeper side of each 
dater. You got to see everybody in this soft place where their hearts were just an open book, and I think it was really beautiful. I was teary eyed. Are you okay? It's just hard for me to Hey, hey, hey. Mark, I notice he's crying. He's kind of breaking down, and because that's my dog, like I want to run over there and comfort him and do all that. But he's just he's going through it right now. Well, this is the first time I cried in front of a group of people in probably about four and a half years. You meant to hold their this, I have a great support system here. I love everyone. I just feel like I had this big weight on my shoulders that I need to get rid of. All right, guys, I think it's time to destroy some. Let's do this. Yeah. 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 I had so much fun on our little group excursion today. Um, I think I got to know all of you a lot better doing that. Um, we talked about some really personal stuff and it meant a lot to me how all of you were able to open up to not only me but to each other. Um, so I thought that was really special. Since it wasn't a challenge, um, I had the freedom today to pick who I wanted to go on a date with. Um, and so I actually ended up deciding to pick two people. Um, and I did this because I feel like I really want to build a better connection and get to know these two specific people better. And for that reason, I'm going to take Jamie and Rylan on a date today. So I'm yeah, super, Jamie, super yeah, excited for that. I'm excited for that. Let's do it. What I really want to see from Rylan is more of an intimate connection. I want to feel that spark. I feel like her and I have connected on a lot of personal things but I've never felt like that flirtatious energy thus far. Jamie, I definitely feel that intimate spark with her, but I want to get to know her more on a personal level. I think if either of those things happened, both of these people could easily stay in the game until the end. and the first thing I see is yoga mats and sound baths and two women sitting and they just look so zen and I'm like I don't know what we're about to do but I want to be a part of it <laughs> so I'm Iris Esmeralda I am a sound healer a Reiki master and a whole ass vibe yeah. <laughs> I have my love right here my partner with Hello, me my name is Arlene I am an intuitive barber and a crystal healer and I actually brought each one of you guys a piece today that I have made with so much love and so much intention. So, my gift to you is this opal light. May this piece give you peace. May it help you with any emotions that you're feeling and bring any calmness into your life. I have created this rose quartz for you. This is a love crystal, which will help you find your true love. And it will connect you also to yourself because that is the, the biggest, truest love that you can ever have is for yourself. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And for you, I created this clear quartz. This is a master crystal. It's a beautiful crystal to meditate with and to manifest anything that your heart desires. So 
So today what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a sound bath. If you have never heard of it, it's basically a bath with sounds. You get into a very deep meditative state. If you fall asleep, boo, it's okay. Don't judge it. Just allow yourself to just sink in. Some people experience colors, vision, some people don't, and that's okay. Everyone has their own journey. I've done quite a few sound baths before and meditation types of exercises. It was a very beautiful experience and like I really let myself connect with it. So we're gonna start with a chakra aligning meditation to really cleanse you out any energy that just doesn't serve you. And then we'll end in a manifestation to really step into your higher self and maybe even envision yourself with Lexi if she is your future. And just take a deep inhale I have never done a sound bath before. I have no idea what that even entails. So I'm really excited because all I'm assuming is that we are about to be so zen. Allow yourself to sink in, connect with my voice, connect with the sounds, connect with your body. I used to do sound baths a lot with my mom. Meditation and sound baths are very important to me because when my mom had cancer and was going through chemotherapy, I mean, I, I definitely think it healed her, you know, having that connection with herself. much more of a spiritual connection and it was really refreshing because after so much drama that has occurred literally every single day it feels like like a breath of fresh air finally You are so powerful. You are a powerful manifester, boo. Know it, feel it, know that you deserve it, know that you are worthy of it. It's a little hard to not think of Lexi when she's laying down right next to me, but I'm trying to not focus on anything and let my mind just be empty. Lexi, throughout this entire competition, you have been more than willing to listen to not only me, but every single person here. You know, at the end of the day, you can't worry about anyone else. And I really, I just want you to be happy. Thank you, of course. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> so cute. Thank you, goddesses. I will let you all go ahead to the next step. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy I finally get a date with you. I know, how are you? Doing well. That was a really special. Yeah, it's nice. I was like experiencing a lot of different emotions I think that I like haven't dealt with. So it was kind of nice to kind of just like go through those and not worry so much that I'm like, because I hate having feelings. I feel like, I don't know, like I've always pushed them away. So okay. I think it was like nice to kind of yeah. Let them happen. Yeah, so I feel like I'm getting opposites from like Rylan, where Rylan is like, she like gives me all the emotions. Yeah. And I want to see more of that from I you. I know. I'm very like. And it's like hard. It's yeah. hard, especially with a person that you're just like, we know right. each other, but like, right. what, like, how much do we know about each other? Right. I mean, I said it on day one. Like, after all of the speed dates, it's that felt that feels like months ago. I know. But I remember saying, I was like, I had the most genuine, yeah. like what I thought like was genuine, like experience with you Yeah. on that date. And I was just like, I want to get to know this girl more. I, I'm i very just like authentic to who I am and how I feel. So I'm not going to like do any over, overdo it, things. you know, especially because yeah. I don't know you that well yet. But I want to get to know you. And I feel like that comes from more of just like conversation and getting to spend time with you rather than like, big grand gestures or all I know, that. I agree with you 100%. I see a spark there. I think she's beautiful. So like, let's capitalize on that, move past that, and then like, 
develop something more. Yeah. Some people are very open. Yeah. Some people aren't. I mean, like, I'm, okay. I'm open, but it's more of just, like, it takes time to really, like, dig deep and, you know, all that. But I, like, hopefully, like, we have more time together and that we can, like... We'll, we'll get, we'll get yeah. chances, too. Give me a big hug. Thank you for opening up. Thank you for having this moment with me. You're very special. Y'all think that um, this day is between like decider, the decider for the Olim tonight? I 100% think that. I think so. Kind of bummed because I've been winning all the challenges just so they couldn't get that connection. So now that Lexi's really trying to pursue it and get it, I'm like, dang, this might really lead to something that hurts me. It's really weird to go on a date with somebody and then eliminate them right after. Unless That's it unless true. it definitely That's a good goes bad. Point. Yeah. yeah. Unless it goes bad, facts. Personally, I feel a little anxious going into elimination. I never know where Lexi's head's at. You never know what she's feeling. So I decide that I'm just gonna stay as calm as I can and just see what happens. I Ooh. also feel like if Riley gets eliminated, she's gonna try to stir up a bunch of drama. She is, bro. She, she is. She told us a, yes, a yes. bunch of bull the other night. Yeah, bro. she was saying like I know rumors about everybody. Yeah, like, she was like, what the hell? she was she like, was I knew rumors about everyone. Like, I was like, what? what? We were upstairs talking and she was like, I, she's like, Mark, I'm so stressed. And I'm like, why? She's like, I heard rumors about the boys, like Cyprian, Josh, Jasmine, Sienna. But like, like, what have we been doing? I've heard eight rumors. Like, what? Like, what? Like, what? Like, she was like, I heard eight rumors today, and I'm like, about what? She's like, I don't want to tell exactly. I'm, I'm like, all right. I don't really know what that means. I don't really think there are that many uncovered secrets that only Rylan knows, but we never know. She has on me. She might need to go ahead and go home. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Because I feel like the energy is finally good. So it's like yeah. to bring something know, else like I that know, into it. And we just had a healing moment. I know. <laughs> and we're right moment. back to square like, one. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to take it out. Oh, my God. Oh, right, baby. Right. <laughs> it's cold out. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I thought that was really special. That was really cool. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so my dad's a hypnotist. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. So I'm all about subconscious and stuff like that. So that when they were saying like, you can feel it in your legs and stuff, it was beautiful. I want to also check in on you. Because mm -hmm. um, I know last night we were, we were talking a little bit just yeah. about some stuff that you were feeling anxious right. about. Am I okay where my legs are? Okay. You're good. Um, and I wanted to make sure you're doing okay because I know you're under immense stress and pressure right now too. Yeah. Um, I struggle with anxiety and I think that's mm -hmm. been very like a big factor in this environment. In this environment. It's in this to environment, do that. yes, I'm very in my head and it's like very much so if someone like for example started rumors about me, I would just be like, It's fine, you're not in my life anymore But it's like You can't get it's, away from it. I'll see you tomorrow morning and the day after that and the day after that. So it's just like it's very different because normally I'm very cool calm and collected and it just like this scenario has really tested me and what I feel like obviously what I want as someone here is to get to know you as much as I can and get as far as I can in this with you and that's so hard for me because at the same time I'm cheering on the people around me yeah and it's like I want to <laughs> see them be happy too and I can tell you do yeah I can tell you do. You you are a very genuine person. I am. Yeah. You want what's best for everyone. Um and that's why I was so glad that I got to have this experience with you. In a real relationship it's not always gonna be fireworks and going on yachts and looking over beautiful views. It's going to be hard times and it's going to be real times and it's gonna be no makeup and sweatpants. Yeah. And like that's when I wanna connect because if yeah. you can handle someone at their realist then all the other stuff is even more magical. Yeah. You know? That's really important. Yeah. Thank you. Thank this. you. This was so I special. I know. I'm like, I hope you know too. Like, I know I'm going through a lot, but like, I promise you, I am like not emotionally unstable no, in any okay. way. I mean, even if you were, that doesn't say anything about your character. Mm -hmm. Genuinely. Seriously. Thank you for this. I appreciate it. You're me. amazing. If we go back to days,
like low key upset because uh, Sienna and like Lexi were just out here chilling for like 40 minutes. Yeah, dude, I know. That's annoying. Yeah. Like, very annoying. Okay. Say when we came back over there, she was like, why is there like weird energy in the air? We'll yeah. Over. Okay. She definitely knows. <laughs> yeah, she knows. That's not stupid. I have a question. Okay, yesterday, I heard that. There was a moment when I was like talking to Lexi and she and then like said out loud that she saw a girl to me and everyone heard that. that was really I don't know if that's going to be true. Wait, what? Yeah, I heard that. Like, like that was like a thing. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. Who told you that? Sienna. I'm not gonna yeah, no, let's not even talk about this right now. I'm gonna get here. Oh, I don't see it. Oh my god, this feels so nice. So nice. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy right now. This is like what I've been looking for. I'm still like weird out. This is like everyone. And yeah, we can all fit in the We can all fit in the hot yeah, tub. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm kind of surprised we didn't do this oh, earlier. <laughs> Okay. So we're in the hot tub, everyone is being so sweet, and I think it's exactly what we need, especially with all the tension in the house. I was just happy to be here with y'all, man. I just love y'all. No, I just overwhelmed with joy, I don't know. I was talking about this, this is definitely core memory stuff right yeah. now. We are all in the hot tub, and it is another really heartfelt moment between all the contestants that I love. And low key, I can feel Lexi kind of trying to play footsies with me underwater. So I kind of get closer to her underwater. All eyes are on me, but I don't really care. I just want to seize this opportunity to kind of get a little bit intimate with her. I think we just go around, start with somebody, and like you just and, like you just say your favorite thing about like every single person. Like, every single person. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Okay. Thank you. Um, so I'll start. I'm gonna start with Cyprian. You're, like, you're a good ass dude. Bruh, come, give me a hug, bro. Come on. Sure, bro. I like, do look up to you. Like, that ass. That ass. I'll do Lexi then. I don't even know if I've told you this yet, but I think you're absolutely I look up to you just as much. Like I want to do what you do, and like you really inspire me. Like you're singing, bro. Like you're just you, bro. Like I never, like I never thought I'd look, I'd look up to someone and be like, whoa, like this dude. Like I aspire to like do things like you do, bro. And, like have that confidence so you can just be goofy and just be yourself. And everyone likes you, bro. Everyone in the house loves you. We're really getting down to the wire right now. Um, there's only a handful of people left and every day that goes by I feel like I know them more and more and more and more. I think that's what makes it so difficult is that I, I know I have to end up choosing just one person. Things will never be the same every single day after an elimination and it's just gonna keep getting tougher and tougher. Hey daters, welcome to the sixth elimination ceremony. Today's elimination ceremony in particular, I feel like it's going to be really difficult for me um, just because this core group of people left, I feel like I've formed such great connections with all of you individually and I think you guys have all formed great connections together as well. It sucks that I do have to send someone home. So the first person I would like to talk about tonight is Rylan. Rylan, we had an amazing day today. Um, I felt more connected to you than ever before. We shared some super personal details about our lives and I loved what you had to say about me when you did the rose um, ceremony. Unfortunately, I did feel like still, like there's just something still missing um, in comparison to just like other connections I have formed with like intimate connections I have formed with other people in this house. But unfortunately, because of all of that, you will be up for elimination, I'm sorry. So Lexi calls me to the bottom again, and I really don't want to go home. Today was the only day I felt like I was starting to actually be myself. I could be sent home just because I didn't try hard enough, and that's really scary. The next person I want to talk about is Mark. 
Mark, I said it today in the hot tub, you are the glue that sticks us all together. I feel like every single day I just like, like get to know you more and more and more and like love your personality more and more and more. You have so many amazing like things that you bring to the table. Because of all those reasons, you will be remaining a match. The next person I would like to talk about is Sienna. Sienna, you are a beautiful soul inside and out. I feel such a deep connection with you and I'm really excited to continue to explore that. I feel like there's just so much more that we still have to talk about. Um, and for those reasons, you will be remaining a match. Mm, finally, Lexi swiped right on me and I'm just sitting there like, yes! And I think I, I, think I over celebrated a little bit. The next person I would like to talk about is Jamie. Um, Jamie, same thing I said with Ryland today, we had such a great time on our date today. Um, I felt super connected to the both of you. Unfortunately, I did feel like, I just like, I don't know you as well, and I wish, like, I just want you to open up more. Um, and sometimes it's just hard to get you to open up. Unfortunately, for all of those reasons tonight, you are going to be up for elimination. I'm a little nervous because I didn't get to open up like I wished I could, but at the same time, I still had a nice date with Lexi, so I'm hoping that somehow that's enough for her to want to keep me around, maybe over Ryland. So I know this is a little bit untraditional. Um, normally, I would pull my coaches immediately to the side. They would deliberate with me, and I would come to a consensus about who needs to go home tonight. But since we're really getting down to the wire, um, and it's really like thinning out, everybody is, like it's, it's such a small group left. Um, I think it's appropriate for me to ask you guys a couple questions that could potentially sway my decision uh, because I'm sitting here telling you right now I still don't know what my decision is. I am very, very curious to see what the girls have to say about the questions. I'm just like, whoa, what is happening? This is getting serious. I'm gonna start with Jamie. This is difficult. I don't like putting you on the spot. I have heard from a couple people that there's the potential that you still have feelings for Sienna. Um, so I just want to ask you, is there any world that you still have feelings for her? No, I don't understand why the question is always put on me when it's like Sienna's involved in it too, you know? Like, why is it me that has the feelings for her rather than asking? The way, that it's I mean? been, the way that it's been presented to me by numerous people is that you still have feelings for her. That's all I'm gonna say. That's literally all I know. Um, it's not one-sided. Like, Sienna definitely is playing a part in the Sienna and Jamie relationship. And so I feel like putting Jamie always on blast for that isn't necessarily fair. Again, I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but I just wanted to hear it from you firsthand. No, I do not have feelings for Sienna. I'm shocked by her response, honestly. But scary position to be in. Can I, can I add one more thing to that? Of course. I feel like the only reason that like people might like interpret me getting upset or like watching you guys is together because we're both going for you, not because I'm desiring Sienna. Thank you for making that clear. Yeah. It's just, it's just frustrating at this point. It's, I'm just angry at the fact that that's even a question. Like, it's just very confusing to me. I care about her as a person. We are good friends, but there is not, there's no feelings there. There's no... The next question I want to ask is to Rylan. Um, again, I don't want to put you on the spot. I do feel the need to ask this question. Is there anything that you can tell me about any of the contestants that could potentially be swaying my decision tonight? I feel as though, and this could be unfair for me to say, I feel as though it's, there are people I could say things about and there are intentions some people have that I could open up about and talk about and say. I don't want this in any way to come across bitchy, so I'm trying to word it properly, but I, I think it's your, you, your job to kind of figure that out on your own. And although I want to come out and be like, hey, these are what you need to know and I want to tell you because I do care about you and I express that to you, but I don't think it's fair for me to be the one to tell that to you. I think in time you'll find out you're smart, you're very smart, and I know 
you will have time to figure out who's real and who's not. I, I don't feel super confident, especially considering so many people here have had dates and intimate moments with Lexi, so I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I feel like these questions honestly did help me come to a conclusion tonight. Um, so instead of going off and talking to my coaches, I think I'm ready to make a decision right now. This is really hard for me because I think both of you are such amazing individuals. Um, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to go with what my gut decision is, and that is to just keep the person that I feel like I've met, like felt more of an intimate connection with. And for those reasons, mm, I don't want to cry. Start crying. For those reasons, I'm really sorry, Rylan, but I have to send you home today. I'm really sorry. Don't cry. <laughs> I'm very grateful for this whole experience. I've learned so much and I've grown a lot. I came in here at probably the worst timing I could have, um, just with my home life and with everyone painting me bad off the bat, I just feel like I wasn't able to be myself. I so free to find love, my guy. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Story. I think Lexi deserves whoever she feels most connected with and if that's not me that's fine but I'm hoping that it's someone here because she really does deserve the best. <laughs>I don't hear all of those rumors that Ryland may have suggested to Lexi about what is happening and who is here for the right and wrong intentions. I'm kind of lost and not sure who to believe at this point. I'm hearing a lot of rumors in the house. I don't know who it's coming from, but a lot of the things that I've shared, I just, I don't feel like I can, I don't know how much trust is fully there. <laughs> what Lexi is hearing. I keep having to clarify some of the rumors that are happening and it's just kind of stressful. Cyprian, and Sienna, and Mark run upstairs, pressing me. Bro, what did you tell Lexi? Why'd you tell Lexi so and so and so? Like, tell Lexi what I really didn't even know what I was talking about. Nah, there's no way. That's hot, bro. That's I'm here sitting in the middle. I'm already feeling kind of some type of way, like tension and everything, because it wasn't the best night. I told you, shit. I told you, bro. No, I told you, bro. Wax. Yeah. No, bro. I hate when I do that, bro. I had a few rules for myself coming here. I told myself that I wouldn't try to start drama or like any beef with anybody. That's not who I am. I'm the easy guy. I'm the funny guy. I just don't really trust a lot of people. So. That's all my trust issue, bro. It's all shit, bro. Open up.
Get your lawn chairs, get your drinks, get your sodas, get your popcorn. Stuff is about to go down, y'all. Just chilling with this fool. Like, you just like went off. Like, I'm a short ass temper. Like, start throwing his phone at I was like, Jasmine told Cyprian and Mark that I had a plan to get them up out of here. I might have a plan. But she don't know that, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, she just just going and trying to stir up drama within the boys because we got a tight group. He was going, oh, I feel bad. I need a thing. Yeah. Like, you're like, I don't trust people. Bro, Marcus mad at you. Oh, all of a sudden, you're not mad, though. You're not mad. It's cool, you know what I'm saying? I ain't cheap, but Marcus mad at you, so don't say nothing to Mark. Don't say nothing to Mark. But, like, he's pretty good, so... He said, yeah, he said, but bro, he's heated, he's mad at you, I tried to calm him down. Calm him down? Turn it back up, you know what I'm saying? Turn it back up and come up here. You up, you downstairs throwing your phone and breaking all that, oh, I can't believe I trusted y'all. Say it to me, though. Just chill, but I just wanted you to, like, to just, like, be cool, like, you feel me? I'm, I'm not going to be cool with this. So what you about to do? I'm just going to Red flags can be hard to notice sometimes, especially when you're wearing rose-colored glasses. <laughs> I'm good out there. She really stabbed me in the back. I'm glad you pulled me aside. I hope we get that moment, like moments like this because you're it's worse because you look like a psychopath who's leading someone on for no reason. Jasmine's talking, but I'm just trying to be like, what the hell is going on? No, I'm, I'm, this is being so genuine. Like, what the f do I do? It doesn't matter. We're leaving. 